Hello class, today I'm going to show you how we can have a transient force or transient structure analysis. For this case, we are going to have a, a pressure moving over our surface and there is a time variable here. So by, by passing time, that force moves across our uh, geometry and we are going to have different, uh, we can see different behaviors. Okay. Let's start one of and open one of those bridges we already uh, designed and evaluated, and see how we can have uh, transient pressure, which is kind of they can can be considered as a like a object moving over that uh, bridge. It could be a bike. It could be a, a car. Okay, this is our previous bridge design and, and analysis because we want to have transient behavior which is time dependent. I'm going to drag transient structural case here. Material would be same, so I'm connecting the materials. Geometry, I'm not going to draw again, so just connect geometry to this. And now let's open model, apply the supports, pressures, include the time steps, and then solve it and see what type of results we can, we can have because of the transient uh, structure analysis. Let's wait for ANSYS to open. And I'm sorry because sometimes it's a bit uh, slow. Okay, beautiful. This is our bridge. Let's go for millimeter because sometimes I make a mistake and millimeter is easier for me to add the values. Okay, for geometry we have question mark here. Let's see why. Because we haven't specified the thickness for surface, the bottom surface. 50 millimeter or 5 centimeter would be enough. For mesh, let's generate the default mesh and see what we have here. Why like this? Now it's much better. Okay, this is our beautiful bridge. If I remember, it was like around 3 meters wide. Uh, okay, let me change the units. No, it's more than okay it's like a 10 10 meters because this scale shows five meters and our bridge is much larger okay we don't care transient behavior let's add supports i'm going to select line selector for the left side and the right side and apply fixed support here so fixed support left side and right side and the next step is going to be applying pressure over this surface so my pressure is going to be first applied here then here then gradually move across the bridge how many sections we have one two three five six okay four five six. okay six let's Add the pressure to here and I'm going to apply that pressure uh, is going to be 1000 Pascal and it should be negative I want to be downward But we don't have any time step. Let's specify time steps here. I want to have seven seconds of simulations and sub steps. Let's go with five. So they are going to repeat it five times. So pressure 
is going to be negative 1000. As you can see here in this graph, for whole uh, of our simulation, which is going to be 7 seconds here, it's negative 1000. But I don't want that. So I'm going to add the other times. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. F first, at time 0, we are going to have 0. We are going to get negative 1000 Pascal. The rest, 0. As you can see, it starts with negative 1000 and then it goes to zero. Let's duplicate this one. Pressure number two. Now, this pressure must be applied to the second piece. Applied. First second is going to be zero, the second second is going to be negative 1000. Duplicate once more. The, the third, the second sec second is going to be one thousand, and the other one is going to be zero. As you can see, the first one is like this. Check out this graph. The second pressure here. The third pressure. I didn't change the geometry. Let me apply before forgetting. And now duplicate this one. It should be force, so apply the pressure, and this one is going to be one negative one thousand zero. We need to duplicate twice more. Geometry is going to be this one negative one thousand zero. Duplicate once more. Geometry is going to be final one. And what else? Negative 1000. This one also is going to be zero. So let me check once more. Pressure start from here, then there, 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 there. Okay, good enough. So we had fixed support, let me check. So we have fixed support left and right side and pressures B, C, D, E, F, G. They're going to gradually apply it every second, uh, one after each other. Okay, let's go for the solution, like always, the total deformation and stress, and usually we need beam tools. Let's solve it. Total deformation, let's go for true scale and run. Okay, as you can see, car a car comes here and moves out. So we can see the deformation here. Let's go and check stress. Mm -hmm. Now you can see the transient effect of a load over this structure. Let's see what is the stress. It's mainly green or blue, which is going to be this area. What else we can Maximum bending stress. Uh, deformation would be interesting. Not deformation, I don't want this one. Uh, 
directional deformation let's go for y-axis okay let's solve it so vertical deformation let's see where we have the highest here at this part of the structure we have really higher not really a bit higher more vertical deformation maximum bending stress close to the joints here and the other side yeah we have highest deformation bending stress okay it's enough we learn how we can uh, how we can have transient behavior study and uh, hope you enjoyed it thank you very much